So I have constant huge knots in my upper right back, and okay. I get a pain in my lower left. How long have you had it? This I've only had for like two months, maybe. It's okay. been a few years. The neck, shoulder, right side? Yeah, right I've been half. told that it's raised higher because of the tension in my neck. So you were told that your right side, your shoulder hikes up because mm -hmm. of the tension in your neck. Mm -hmm. You've been dealing with this for how long? Two, three years? Yeah, really like three years. Okay. Um, what started it? Um, I think either dance or car accident. Okay, so you had a few car accidents. Mm -hmm. The last one was how long ago? Like a year and a half ago, two years. Okay. Did you receive treatment for it? Um, I went to a chiropractor, but not for more than like a few weeks. Okay. Did they tell you what? Fix it. But did sure. they did they tell you what was wrong? No. <laughs> so you don't know what number, what vertebrae, what was causing anything. You just went in for treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. It starts in this area here. Mm -hmm. It goes down this yeah. way. Does it ever go this way? No. Does it ever go up? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. You have this um, constant pain here. You yeah. wake up with it in the morning. Mm -hmm. w what do you do in the morning for it? Nothing. Okay, just deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, tat it up, yo. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Wow. Cool. All right. So, yeah, we're on this side of the fence today. And we're going to start at the base of the neck. And the first thing we're doing is instrumentation, Spencer. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, let's see, wherever we're getting a heat swing, right there. That's C71. Now, she's probably going to have some flutters going on up here at the top. We don't really want to deal with the top right now. We want to focus on the base to help get this curve back. And when we start to see fluttering on the needle, so you know, mm -hmm. that's muscular compensation. There should be a, a definitive break, like right there. You said the low back stuff is not, is relatively new, right? Yeah. Something is it's hiding. It's the same out. kind of feeling, like on the left side here, like that it needs to crack or something, and I can't. Okay. I got a tiny bit on the bottom left tiny bit around the T10, T11 area, around T5, and around the base of the neck here, okay? Next thing we need to do, let's go ahead and statically palpate. Head down, please. Look at the tissue texture. Right there, look at the tip of my finger. Mm -hmm. And it starts to change right there. It's changing there, but you see it pulls? Mm -hmm stays a little bit darker right there. That's where the break is. That's tender. Oh, yeah. Is God. this one more tender? Oh, yeah. Or is this one more tender? Jesus, oh my God, they all are. Starts there, okay. <laughs> we have two tender segments. We're gonna go with the bottom one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stomach button. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11's not bad. 10's tender. 9's tender. 9's worse. Or 10. 9. 9, 6. Now let's go to the low back. Now we're going to check the motion in the sacroiliac joints first. You can see the dimples here, right? Do you see one less than the other, Spencer? Yeah, the left. Left, you see less, right? Mm -hmm. You can see that puffiness also. Yeah. Right? Okay. Let's put your feet together. Mm -hmm. Right side only. They should move independent. As she's doing this, the whole sacrum yeah. is actually moving, and the, at the end, my left thumb is moving. Do the left side now. But when she, same thing, when she does this, the whole thing is going. Mm -hmm. Okay. When she does the right, it's moving independent till the very end. It's this side that's stuck. That's that rotated sacrum right there. Tender? Yeah. So we have to decide where we're going to start. We have sacrum, we have T9, we have T6, and we have to check the base of the neck. And then we got to decide clinically where is the best place to start. Definitely we want to work on the foundation, the base. Tender right there. Oh, but you're shooting. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Six. Seven. Right there. 
right there. Uh, That's T1. PRS. There we go. Very flexible hand. There it is. Look up. Gotcha. That was a little crunchy. <laughs> I don't like crunchy crunch. I want clunky clunk. I'm still setting it as a PRS. I'm going to do it as a spinous pull move. Look up at him. That's the <laughs> one. You hear the difference, right? Yeah. yeah. Walk it off, please. T6 PRS. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. Good stuff. You good? <laughs> I feel broken. What's that? I feel broken. I just fixed you. What are you talking about? I just glued you back together. We're going to do the sacrum now. I'm going to do what's called pumping the disc. I just need you to take in deep breaths and exhale. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to apply pressure, okay? Good. Deep breath in. Blow it all the way out. Good. Deep breath in. All the way out. Deep breath in. There it is. Good. Oh my God. That was a home run. <laughs> We got a good change there. Still a couple of points, but not bad. Mid back is clear. Low back is clear. Scoot forward. Let's check the motion. So first thing is that already looks different. Side only. Beautiful. Left side. Media difference. Huge, right? It feels Huge. I feel more like. Stable. more balanced so now they're moving independently that happened from a sacrum adjustment we set it as a left rotated sacrum okay let's get the shoulder face down around there we go Relax. Down and around. nice squeeze my hand squeeze scared what? I don't want it to hurt did any of it really no it feels right. good Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just putting everything back in place. <laughs> Relax. Squeeze. 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 You're in for a treat, right? There. <laughs> Go like that five times. Squeeze hard. Squeeze. You'll see a huge difference next time you're on the computer. <laughs>